Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play some more Fallout 4. Oh. I knew that was gonna happen, but I did it anyway, because I wanted to look around at my face. But see, look! You know that one hat that I found before? It is still incredible, and... It just looks incredible with the way I am dressed. Because I am definitely going for fashion, as you can possibly tell in this whole thing. Even though my armor was pretty fashionable too, I'm going to continually wear this for now until... I don't even know, but I, cause I, there's that one thing of a request that you go ahead and you do the Silver Shroud, yeah? Once I do that, then I probably will get the Silver Shroud thing done. Or maybe I have to do like a whole line of murders that that guy wants me to. But after I murder things, I might be able to just talk to him on his own, and he's supposed to be able to level up your armor, as far as I know. And this armor leveled up currently would be better than me wearing all the tiny little pieces anyway, as far as I know. So anyway, uh, yeah, also the thing I missed last time is I forgot that I had to turn in the quest. To turn in the quest with Ada, I'm just gonna sneak up on her. She'll never know that the sea captain is in the area. Oh no, she notices me. Um, yeah, I think it's actually better uh, than what I wanted because of the fact that she saw the truth. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? Uh, yeah, it wasn't exactly her fault, but it kind of was, because if you if you build robots, you know things are going to go bad. Just look at... Well, actually, Skynet was supposed to be evil, weren't they? <laughs> Whatever. She was fooled by her own logic. She really thought she was saving people. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Yeah, I Any see exactly. I, that's what I thought. Death because of the mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. Was it a mistake to spare her? No, I'm not going to be saying anything like that, because I did kill her once, but I saw the error in my ways, she saw the error in her ways, but it's fine. She's good at heart, because she gave me her suit, so maybe I could be the evil mechanist. Ooh. I hope I didn't defend you. Yes, you did. She's good at heart. She made a mistake, a big one, and she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped justice! for, justice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer Commonwealth. Had the mechanist's robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive, halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment, and I have you to thank for it. You have feelings. Hey, restoring order. That was quite a bit of experience. What is it for? Yeah, just restoring order. Okay, I think that's actually the last achievement for the robotic automatron DLC. Although there are a couple more quests that I would like to uh, go further on with because, you know, there are more robots roaming the plains and there's more... Aliens that need to be talked to. Mr. Roboto, you're gonna get the pleasure of actually seeing what an alien looks like! Even though I'm pretty alien-like probably to him, all things considered. What are you doing? As honest, as honest work gets. Is it? Oh. I also forgot about this thing. Because this weapon is the one that I found before that was just like... It does the old... Plasma damage. It adds 10 points of energy damage and can turn enemies into goo. So, I just put a scope on it and turned it into a sniper rifle, and I needed a new sniper, maybe. Well, I didn't exactly need a new one, but it's actually really incredible. <laughs> so, why not? And if I have to kill anything from a distance, still like Ada? No, I wouldn't kill her. Not like this. But maybe some other time. You know, then I am really good. So I think first and foremost, I'm going to have to fast travel. Also, because it seems like I got components for robots, didn't I? Or something along those lines. 
Yep, I would have had to, because I am now... No, that... I'm just going crazy. Just ignore my craziness. Where's my, uh... Oh, no, yeah, I don't think I have, because I'm at 202 of 280. Which is pretty good, if I do say so myself. So, I think that it, I don't really need to go back to Sanctuary yet. If she did quite literally give me robot parts, then I can upgrade Mr. Roboto, but... That will be for a different time, because I need to go and save the Commonwealth by going to the back street yet again. I don't know about you, but I think it's one of the best- what the heck? The Flamer is a scientifically engineered- or specifically, I think it's more scientifically engineered flamethrower. Because it's built with the science that flames kill people, yeah? And what you do is you burn them to death and then you win. It's science. <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say after that. Actually, I think I know what I was going to say is that, yeah, because Backstreet Apparel is the best place to fast travel to. Whether it is for clothing, or whether it's for singing, you gotta go to the Backstreet every once in a while. Also, I guess I must have been pretty close or something, because it's not as late in the day as I thought it would be by the time I got here. It's a nice day of... Traveling with my eyes closed and just not paying attention, Mr. Roboto. Oh. Is a teleporting mechanism inside of him or something. Which actually, that would be really good if he did. So... At least this gun might do a little bit more to robots now if I can plasma damage them. Because plasma is more effective than anything else. And it's just plasma inflicted damage on this thing. It's not actually... Just plasma rounds, so I save bullets. And money, too! Because I'll probably have to buy stuff. What the heck? Is, is that a evil person? I don't think so. Ugh. Okay, I think it sort of worked. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy that leg. Critical! Once one's on the ground, then it's all up to you, Mr. Roboto. Or... Oh no, don't shoot the friendly guy! I just love that my aimer was on him during that. Okay, it's, it's time to finish this guy off. Caravan guard. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. I won't be able to hit the arm from there. Or I did. Still, this sniper rifle is incredible. Hey, rogue robot! That's all the quest was? Do, do I not even have to turn it in? Protectron front actuated frame. You be sure and let me know. I think that that is actually something good. Left arm, I have a million of those. I could build a robot completely out of left arms at this point. Hello there, sir. Uh, how come you did not help with this robot infestation? Hey there. Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. Too many miles on the road. At least the pay is terrible. What the? <laughs> I'm a murderous person, okay? I can't help it. Wait, is this guy a quest person? Because... How... How is he not dead? There we go. Now he's dead. I think we just... He wanted to incapacitate him just in case, but... He's a no-name caravan guard. And he doesn't even have a Brahmin. I didn't see one with him, so... I have to steal his potted meat. It's just the thing that you have to do in this. Athletic! Yes. Oh wait, also sturdy what now? It was sturdy leather right arm, huh. I don't know. It's debatable. I can always find his body. Maybe. I have an even better idea too. Just because. Come with me, sir. If you want to uh, have... Well, it's not really living, but... It's, it's gonna be the be next best thing, of course. Okay. He died doing what he loved. Robots. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, now it's time for me to just run for ages because of the fact that I have a ton of stamina. What? Legendary Synth Strider? Wonder if he goes on the water every once in a while. Okay, I'm gonna try to destroy some legs. 
Oh, did he just like mutate or something? How come he has his health back somehow? Also, yeah, that one right leg is just getting destroyed. If only I had my, uh... Oh, what do you call that perk? It's the Grim Reaper that has arrived. Yeah, it wasn't very much, but, oh. I like their, <gasps> no way. I wonder if their guns are actually plasma. If they are, hee <laughs> hee Okay, uh, you can kill all just shotgun if they survive. So I think there's one more in here too. Hey, hey you, you want a close range shotgun? I hear it's pretty good at this time of year. Close range shotguns to the, the leg. So I used to be a synth like you. Then I took a shotgun to the knee. Okay, Mr. Roboto, where is this guy? Fusion Cell Institute Pistol. I like the sounds of that. Because these Institute people, I've never even heard of them before the Railroad people came around. But maybe the Institute, they have plasma weapons. At least I'm really hoping. Stalker's Pipe, Oh. Why does he have a revolver pistol and an institute pistol? Shenanigans! Uh, that was a warning shot. Also, I didn't mean to press X for that. I meant to... Do that. There we go. Well, I already have one institute pistol, so that's probably good. I need to check what it's like. Ooh, boy. It is... Crap? Or good? I don't know. It definitely uses lasers, that's for sure, because they use his cells, yeah? So, maybe if I upgrade it, it will be just an upgraded version of a laser pistol, maybe. So I could look into it. It's probably not going to be worth it exactly, but especially considering my weapons I currently have. Look, look, look at this thing. I have a snipe rifle that can destroy using the power of plasma, partially. And also, just... Other guns. Which I also got... Oh yeah, I forgot about this! I got rid of my uh, Tesla gun for now, because... I need to upgrade it using a lot of stuff that I just do not have the ability of. And... It's just not good in my hands. It just doesn't feel right. This, on the other hand... I'm actually gonna look from this. But yeah, 25 damage that's automatic compared to 15. That is just insane. So... I think that this gun is a little bit better. Because, oh no, I'm not going to use it right now. You'll see when I actually do shoot it in the future. <laughs> it's just so good. Also, still, my pistol is actually pretty good now. Because I have, I have more. 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 And I jumped. Okay. So aliens should be right around here, right? Either that or the level 20 thing is wrong and people are lying to me. You actually have to wait until a certain event where Mr. Roboto will just talk about aliens coming from above. Yeah, I think that it is a little bit off. Because it should be... Because the settlement is here, yeah? You go either right here or right over there, which I think it is more so right over there. And I didn't see any alien crash ship. Yeah, this should be it, like, right here. Okay. They lied to me. Everything I looked at online for aliens, yet again, is wrong. <laughs> yeah, and so that one quest seems to be off of my radar now, and just, like, off entirely, so I guess... Killing a couple robots means that I cleared up loose ends, which is always a good thing, I guess. I'm really amazed that they actually have 60% happiness rating, considering everything there. It's just... Oh, boy. So, I already listened to the Silver Shroud Station. Or do I have to listen to it before, or do I have to kill this guy first? I think I just have to do both at the same time. Kill this man while listening to the radio station. Oh, man, it's just so... Amazing, because it's telling me with its, uh, what do you call that thing where you just, like, get subliminal messaging? Because it's, yeah, that's, that's what it is. 
Radio, man. Subliminal... killing machines. Okay. I'm at the place. The old corner bookstore. I wonder if... The, what the heck was that? That might have been aliens! Or something. I heard a noise of a unidentified amazing object. At least that's what I'm thinking of. Also, I'm really hoping that was a grenade or something. I don't know, but... Ah! I have so much luck. And I love it. Because I'm not actually wearing my overleveled luck thing right now. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I think it's time to put my automatic pistol out. Because watch this. This is going to be incredible. <laughs> I should have really been using one of these things when I was fighting the mechanist. But... I guess it happens every once in a while. Critical! <laughs> oh, did his body just like disintegrate and fall from the sky? I'm really amazed that Mr. Roboto hasn't actually killed that turret yet. I have no idea where the turret is, but... Eh. Combat rifle... Wait, is it? Can I? I think I can, yeah, I can see it, sort of, but at the same time, not. Okay, there's, there's nothing good here. I'm leaving. No more. Eh. But, yeah, this, this gun's actually really good, and I love it. It's just that, uh... Because I don't, I don't know why I never thought about using automatic weapons. It's probably because of the fact I had no ammo before. But now I'm starting to get my ammo up in the world. And when my ammo's going up in the world, so is everything else. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, boy. Wait, 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 what was, was that? Sturdy Raider, okay. I thought that was a new kind of armor. Technically, it is kind of a new kind of armor, in a way. But, at the same time... Combat knives. Okay, yeah, so this this guy wants me to kill everybody associated with books, comic books, and everything in between. Also, it seems to be... Is this really the place I have to be? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Oh, no. Yeah, it seems like it's not inside this place. But maybe it is. Huh... Oh well, I'll go inside the corner bookstore. If uh, nothing happens, then nothing happens. If something does happen, well, you better believe I'm gonna kill everyone inside of here. But there could have been a UFO! I'm going crazy, but it might be true. Because it's strange and it's true. Also, when did it get sunny? It was, it was nighttime. It took me a long time in order to get inside this place, if you didn't realize. I'm just like. Racetrack. The October Classic, Sunday, October 31st, 2077, at East City Downs. Three world class, class races with a total purpose... or purse? I don't even know. Money. Ooh, can I go in the race? And then pretend that I'm Rowan Atkinson? Maybe. Okay, so I don't think that the guy that I'm supposed to kill is actually really in here. Strangely enough. Hmm. Blue... Blue batting helmet. Sure, why not? wonder if that has anything with luck on it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go out of here. Yeah, this is... Really strange. It's so quiet. And just because of the fact that I am a paranoid person, and I'm just like, Oh, aliens! They might have been around there! I have to go and quickly check. It probably won't be there, but if it is, then I won't look like a crazy person. Which is gonna happen no matter what, though, probably. Because even if there are aliens, I'll be like, Oh, I told you! I told you they were real! <laughs> oh, man. And also, this is, like, the best gun to be using to kill aliens if I was, but... Yeah, I think I will. Or I could use my trusty, dusty 10 millimeter pistol. <gasps> Yes! See, I was right! I heard the noise! I wasn't crazy! I told you! <laughs> oh, boy. 
Because once you hear a noise in the sky, you gotta pay attention. Because it's all unidentified with the aliens. Now how do I get in this? That's the real question, because I didn't actually look that up. I think there's something dealing with a cave or something like that. So maybe if I walk along the rubble, then it will all be fine? Any- anybody around here? Aliens! Hello? If I just use my targeting computer? Because if I was an alien, where would I go if I crashed down? That's the real question here. Because... Would it be over here? Or would it be over there? Would he just be wondering, why don't I have hair? I think this is actually it. This looks like a cave. Because my bumbling around... I'm like an alien, right? I think the way that aliens work. <laughs> and if it's just called cave, it probably is the right place. Hopefully. Just listen to that. Also... Oh, look at him! I don't think so. Oh no, he's shooting at me! I don't want you to waste ammo! I need that ammo! Please! I was gonna be friendly to you! We, we could talk! And have fun! I seriously one killed- one hit killed? Oh, boy. I'm gonna pick him up. Like, can I rotate him? Oh, boy. You spin me right round, baby, right round. This is terrible, absolutely terrible and horrible. Still, I was going to be his friend, and now he's just dead. I was just going to- I wanted to trade a ham radio for his survival or something. Also, his blaster pistol. Perfect. But maybe he didn't actually waste any ammo. 55? That's pretty good. Also, because this might have a pretty high fire rate. So it's too bad I didn't have this to fight the Mechanist, because the alien blaster pistol plus the increased damage I found from something or other that makes this blaster pistol even better... Yes. That's gonna be my new cryolator. Because I think it's also probably pretty light, so I can put it... If my laser pistol does not work well, and if I am in a jiffy... I'm gonna use some alien pistols. I'm gonna destroy everyone. Oh boy! I was right! It happened, finally! Aliens! <laughs> My quest is now complete after all this time.